My name's Timothy Joseph Salinas, originally from Massachusetts, and I was in the Marshall Islands for four years on a government contract. That's where I met my fiance, and she has family here in Springdale, Arkansas, and that's the reason I'm here. Well, I still had a nice car, and I was staying in that and just sitting in parking lots at night. And eventually I ran out of money, so I sold my car to uh, my ex fiance's boyfriend for very little money so I could buy beer. And not having the car anymore, I started sleeping in Murphy Park here in Springdale next to the uh, library. The worst part about living in Murphy Park was I didn't know I didn't know if I was safe. There were some people I knew and I just the weather was very bad part and I mean just not knowing where I was going to go from there you was sleep, you sleep very well? Not really. I didn't sleep well at all because Again, worrying about who was going to come up on me at night, or I actually got my backpack stolen when my wallet was in it, and had my ID, my social security card. I never felt safe there, and it was just, uh, unfortunately, it's the only place I had to go. Well, I met, when I met Joe, I was still at the park, and he had a little barbecue every Tuesday. It was a uh, part of his church, and that's when I first met him, uh, Pastor Matt, Pastor Gilbert, and Dustin, who goes to their church. And then, I think a couple of weeks later, is when I saw your truck pull in, free food truck. And I was sitting with a couple of my so-called friends. And I turned and I said, does that really say free food? They said yes. And that's when I went up and I met you, Chris. So last fall, um, Pastor Chris invited me to City Church. And that's when I was talking to Kevin and He actually, again, he told me, call HR, you'll have a job. And I told him my phone was off. He was so nice. He went out, went to a bank, came back, gave me some money. He said, get your phone back on, go to HR tomorrow, which would be Monday. And sure enough, I did. Filled out application and started the next day. So that's how City Church, Pastor Chris, and everybody's helped me out. I think that was uh, the turning point, pretty much, of my life. So anyways, I started out at Cargill, I believe it was September and of last year. And unfortunately, I was living in a tent, and I was doing second shift. And it was a very demanding job. So I'd go back to my tent. I'd be so tired, I couldn't get to sleep. So I'd just drink. And I went downhill even farther. That's when I called Joe and Dustin. They took me to uh, Springwood, Springwoods. It's a detox center. And from there, I went to uh, Lake Point Rehab. And since then, I've been back in Springdale. I was lucky to get a job again at Cargill and been there ever since. Through all of this, God has been faithful to me and he's helped me out so much. Um, Again, when I was in rehab, I made a few phone calls and I finally got a sober living home. And sure enough, it was a five minute walk from where I worked. 
and that couldn't have happened without the grace of God. And again, the people around me, I can't forget about them. They help me so much too. And it's just, I mean, it's just a miracle pretty much how I got to this point. And pretty much when I was in rehab and told all the counselors and staff there that I got that sober living right next to work, they were all pointed up and said, because of him. And that's the truth. My message to somebody that's homeless is don't give up. That's the worst thing you can do. There's always, as they always say, light at the end of the tunnel. I was about to give up. I was going to do something stupid. But I made a phone call to a couple of my friends. That's how I got here. Just don't give up. Think about yourself. And just tell yourself, I want to get better. I want to get out of this. Most of all, you got to believe in God. Because he's always there looking down on you and listening. You may not know it, but he is. For people that want to help the homeless, it would just be caring. I mean, it could be a kind word. It could be, you know, a dollar fifty hamburger from McDonald's or a soda. It could be offering them a blanket. Um, there are so many ways, even saying a prayer with them. There's so many ways to talk to them and help them. It doesn't mean you have to give them a room in your home, but any small thing of encouragement and enlightenment would help. I don't know if this is the end of this film, but what I would like to do is say a prayer. Dear God, I thank you for everything, for bringing the people from City Church, Samaritan Church, people from Cargill into my life. Without them, I would not be here right now. Without you, I would not be here right now. And my life, if I still had one, would be so dismal. So for that, I thank you, God. And I thank everybody. And I pray for all of you. And those homeless, too. I hope you can get out of it. That's about it. Amen.